Welcome to the part 3 of our screen replacement tutorial and in the part 1 and 2 I showed you how to shoot this so I have to prepare this green tracking background and how to shoot it and in the second one I showed you how to track this but as you can see there is a very important work to do because it doesn't look like it actually belongs to the screen but if you realize I didn't need it to be this to be green for now that's what I'm gonna be using right now this being green is about to become very important for now so we are gonna change this one to PG for background duplicate this put it all above everything and put this screen and we are going to close the PG and we are going to use key light and I recommend you to go where top at very start and very end often but let's see this we are getting a good green we are going to use key light sorry and if you use the newest one I definitely recommend highly this new animation preset or you can oh, let's drag it and it's gonna add key cleaner and advanced pulse suppressor you might need this later on we start with key light we are gonna be using the screen color and not this one not this one but a middle range color actually this is a perfectly solid green but there is light in the room which affects the screen so we are gonna do this and as you can see it does a pretty good job tracking now if you were to put this you can see that it only appears on the areas that have key have been keyed out let's do this if you do this you can see a lot of areas that are going semi-transparent now to fix that we are gonna go to screen math and we are gonna do all these parts completely white if you know to use a key light that's the same we are just gonna make it 90 around 90 after we can go even a little more boom and we are gonna black so we get a far more solid key and we are gonna go back to intermediate result that brings us to here which if we bring this is around there now we are not going to be using final result so it's still of course sorry keeps these green areas so let's go to start and the key is very similar but of course you can see some bad results there and we are going to be helping us with screen math again we are going to go ahead and maybe actually do this even no that's greenness went out and some roll yeah so intermediate result and that's the only the start of everything we are gonna then close key light and go ahead and use clean key cleaner and actually you might see some effects but I recommend using advanced pulse up pressure in ultra now we are going to remove key light at this point open advanced pulse up pressure but don't enable it then you're going to select key color and choose this color again then we are going to open it and as you can see it pretty much keys it but they're not transparent they're just becoming white we are going to play with this tolerance value a lot let's go to 100 percent you have to be sure that there is no other undesirable effects so let's say tolerance should be around 80 or even 90 actually desaturate is desaturating everything and 55 50 is general so 55 uh, spill range is just controlling the general spill as you can see it can make everything pink some spill range add some spill range 
and spill color correction gonna do this and maybe a little more correction so it doesn't affect everywhere but only that green part which is good now we're gonna go ahead and enable key light now you can see this helps a lot especially it's gonna be far more effective on this case you can see how much it reduces everything and we're gonna add key cleaner it's good but why do I have these on my screen well because they're not green and they are not keying out that easily if you try to key the green one thing I would recommend is actually you create a new black solid then you go to our back BG and you still have all these data data here then you're gonna edit the target to black solid and apply this now you can see that the black solid is approximately the size of these now actually let's remove this every keying plugin what we are gonna do is go ahead and increase the size of this a little bit so this doesn't have to be perfect but one thing that is very important is this shouldn't go to the area of the computer screen and I can show you why but essentially if you go to your screen track mat and alpha inverted mat it's gonna remove the parts that were black in this one then we are gonna enable key light key cleaner and advanced spill suppressor so this is the effect that this helps actually why this black can't go to these areas well if that goes sorry it will actually key those areas too so the only role of this black is to actually sorry to actually be over these four corners that's why I actually recommend you to make them more on the center because my last video I put them on corners and it was harder for this black to not intersect with the screen bars or bevels now we set it to alpha inverted mat and we have all these effects and it actually looks pretty good for me the only thing I have to do is to adjust the screen it might take a lot more practice to do it I'm not the expert of this but let's go to screen and let's try something like this what about we rotate it a little bit by two so by one then we are going to go to scale and scale this one you can see it actually tracks it perfectly and let's go to fifth and let's play this one and of course it's all about how, how good your track is that's why I actually recommend Mocha it's a little bit better but this will probably get the job done for you it's it might not be perfect for every condition but it's definitely something that you can try and it's something that definitely works so when we play this you can see this shake at the start but later on it's perfectly clear and you can work on your track to fix that but this is basically how to do it so we are gonna be basically adding a curve thank you for watching and I hope this helps if you haven't watched the other two parts please check them out and I hope we will meet again